first of all, this is one thing I was not able to show you last night, but I can show you tonight. This is the envelope. <laughs> this is the envelope the tax return arrived in. So wait, you're telling me the tax returns came in an envelope? <laughs> Tell me more about these magical things you call an envelope. <laughs> The mad and mad owl. Yes, it's been a little bit of a hullabaloo around here this I evening. I apologize imagine. for being a little flustered. People literally were tweeting at me, shut up, get to Rachel. <laughs> you may have heard, uh, we've got some significant breaking news tonight. Um, Donald Trump's tax returns. Tonight, we have this exclusive first look at their reporting at what they have obtained. In just a second, we are going to show you exactly what it is that we've got. We have obtained this. But this is all we've got. This is all we've got. I think we found the title of Rachel Maddow's autobiography. <laughs> this is all we've got by Rachel Maddow. How I fell for Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, the last time I saw a fail that bad, uh, let me think. Oh, I expected so much from that. <laughs> or maybe it was this. So when you near me, darling, you hear me, yes, oh, yes. Yep. Or maybe it was this. Now, having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? No, <laughs> it was that bad. Talk about a stunt blowing up in your face. Even Geraldo was like, whoa, glad I'm not her. <laughs> right, right now, right now he's thanking God for Rachel Maddow. No more drunks shouting Al Capone's vault at him when he's on his yacht. It's now Rachel's returns. Her segment reminded me of those YouTube pranksters. You know, all this buildup before the trick goes really bad. Well done. <laughs> Literally, his ass is well done. <laughs> so, was that a bad idea? Oh my God. That was such a bad idea. <laughs> and you know, you can always sense a stunt is about to go wrong, which is why Rachel dragged in other hosts and guests to help her save the thing. It's like when a singer's out of tune, the rest of the band has to play louder. Now she claims it's the viewer's fault for expecting so much from so little. This is after acting like she discovered Bigfoot's penis inside the Loch Ness Monster's butt, which would be rare and somewhat arousing. But like the dopes on YouTube, it's all about the views, and Rachel got a huge number, 3.7 million, by playing a number on all of us. While we may be on the verge of war with North Korea, we sat transfixed over tax returns. She trolled us for money. She's more of a capitalist than Lou Dobbs. Anyway, it's refreshing not to be on the crazy side of things for once. Remember when President Obama used to drive right-wingers crazy? Let's say Bill is the, the average American here, and I'm President Obama. This is the way I feel. I feel like President Obama is just saying, you know what? <laughs> I've got that, that $3.5 trillion budget that we're doing. You know, is this, is this cold? <sighs> what else could I possibly do to the American people? <laughs> President Obama, why don't you just set us on fire? <laughs> Oh, those were good times. <laughs> now the clown shoe is on the other foot. Donald Trump's like a prankster, pulling out the wires from the back of the Rachel robot. She ends up waving her arms and legs and freaking out like her butt's on fire. <laughs> now I know Donald Trump isn't perfect, but the people who hate him don't like you or me much either, and it becomes more true every day. You gotta wonder, why is it so hard for the left to lose? Is it the consequences of delayed adulthood or the coddling of a culture? 
A political defeat has turned actual adults into bedwetting blobs of protoplasm who'd sacrifice security rather than agree with Trump on anything. Take the travel ban. You could water that thing down so only redheads from the villages are banned, and they'd still scream Islamophobia. And so we see the five stages of crazy. One, superior and calm. Russia, Russia, Russia. Everything Trump touches turns into another story about Trump and Russia. Then number two, the emotional wrath. I am a nasty woman. I'm not as nasty as a man who looks like he bathes in Cheeto dust. What's wrong with Cheeto dust? Three, the world is ending. Yet, sir! Yet! 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 No, we won't! We've seen what you have done, sir! I'm glad she brought the sign. <laughs> For losing your <laughs> mind. <laughs> But then finally, there is acceptance. Join us. We're having a good time. <laughs> the fact is, we are now living in a parallel universe where one half finds fear and the other half's fun. So what side would you rather be on? Yes, yes, yes. Let us introduce tonight's guests. I'm so excited. He is so cool. He is so cool. The Fonz has a poster of him on his wall. World-class bodybuilder, parasailing extraordinaire. It's Lou Dobbs, host of Lou Dobbs Tonight on the Fox Business Network. Like a Times Square billboard, she's always lit. Fox LA anchor Lauren Savon. He gets iron in his diet by eating actual iron. Retired Special Forces Master Sergeant Terry Shepard. And she's saltier than the rim of a margarita. National Review reporter, Fox News contributor, Kat Tim. Right. So, Lou. What was right. your take on the whole tax return thing? My, she got 3.7 million view, yes, uh, uh, viewers, huge demos, great numbers. But how many times can you do that? Yeah, I, I, I was wondering that very thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you put it that way because I was, actually what I was thinking was why couldn't I have that 3.7 million <laughs> yes. viewers? Yes. But at, uh, at that expense, to actually have Stephen Colbert go after you, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the left turned on her so quickly. I mean, I, I was astonished that they showed such, well, such an unfettered desire to cannibalize their own. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, I, I was absolutely sure they had done the right thing. Yes, it was so much fun. And I love the word unfettered. I don't even know what it means half the time, Lauren, but that's what I like. I like all of my things to be unfettered, including you. Uh, what was your take on the event? Of the I, week, I would think. This is the event of the week. It is the event of the week. <laughs> yes. Um, I think that we don't like being duped. We don't yes. like being lured into, you know, the champagne room <laughs> only, <laughs> only to be swindled. <laughs> and we definitely don't like being duped by, uh, you know, like a highly caffeinated CPR dummy. Yes. She's, she's really, she's so wound up. And so <laughs> she's really selling it. And yet, you know, the, the product doesn't deliver. No, it didn't. And I, I have been duped in the champagne room. You know? I know you know the feeling. I know. Uh, I know. Well, oh, that Tyrone. Those were not real abs. <laughs> hey, Terry. Hey, good to see you, as see always. Good to see you. Um, I, the, the great thing about this is I don't think there's going to be. It, 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 I'm just happy for Geraldo. Because yeah. now he's free. All the heat's off of him. It, all of, he's free from the vault. Yeah. And I don't think there's, like, there's not, there was never an Al Capone's vault, too. So I don't think she can do this again. No, you're right. Uh, by the way, I think you actually enjoy being fettered. Okay. That's really what it is. <laughs> yes. A, yes. two, I looked at the wrong camera, and three, <laughs> I think, as, as the Joker has been said, you know, sometimes someone just likes to watch the world burn. I have to admit now, I'm one of those dudes. I can, I have had such a good time watching these guys just melt. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was awesome on election night when, tr when Trump was winning. You could just see 
that and you can see it now it's going to continue like this i mean i wish donald trump would be a little more uh difficult to attack he could make himself a little less Make, a, uh, make himself a smaller target. Make himself as a military, military vernacular. Yes, thank, thank you. Well done, sir. You and I, you know, we speak the same language. I, I was born a small target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I, uh, I, I would have been great if I chose to fight. Yes, but sir. I didn't because I'm a conscientious coward. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, you know, Greg? I think you're being hard on yourself. I disagree. Oh, well, thank you. I think it's very brave to do this show the way you do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> continue continue oh, with your applause until you're exhausted. <laughs> All right, Kat. Um, I have this belief. I, I feel that this is this is like a mirror reversal of the effect that Obama had on some people as well, right? I mean, it kind of happens. It's like it's like. You mean Barack Hussein Obama? Yes, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it was like you know Obama made Beck. It mm -hmm. could Trump be making Rachel? Maybe this was just so embarrassing for everybody, though. Like you said, people on the left had to admit that. I mean, two pages from 2005. Yes. That's like the part where you write like name. You know, his yes. name is Donald Trump. Oh my God, that'd be like if people were threatening to hack my phone into my photos and say we're po posting all these pictures of yeah. Kat that she didn't want us to see, and then it just wound up being like the pictures of my food that I took before I found the one where it looked delicious enough to post it. Yes. You know? <laughs> but then she's still stroking it. She's yeah. still like, well, what else is there? Like, mm. be like, yeah, oh, was the food in Russia? Is she eating it in Russia? Why wouldn't she post it? She's not giving up, even though everyone's telling her, come on, lady. Yes. They need, they need a tax return intervention. Mm -hmm. They need to bring her in, all of her close friends, to sit down. Chris Hayes could be there and tell her how much he cares about her. And then, they get, then she gets on a plane. She flies to Malibu. You know, they always fly to Malibu, promises. Yeah. And then they just sit there for a week, and they go, the tax returns. You need to let go of the tax returns. It seems like Keith Olbermann would be a really great party guest. Yes, he would. <laughs> By the way, no, he wouldn't. He's, yes, he's yes. Awful. I Him think and his multiple she was just hoping that if she said stuff in a this is a scandal voice, yeah. people wouldn't listen mm -hmm. and they'd just be like, oh, must be a scandal. But it's interesting. There's a contrast be be between the benign good news of the past 50 or 60 days and the apocalyptic fervor. It's never been so stark. I mean, if, you, if Trump declared America a caliphate, <laughs> MSNBC would call him Islamophobic. I mean, he can't do anything. Before we go, a look at an amazing vacation opportunity. We've all heard of themed cruises, but you've never seen one so incredible. Take a look. Imagine a vacation where you and dozens of adult-sized babies could feel relevant among other outwardly loud but inwardly sad people. The ultimate luxury getaway of self-victimization. Well, now you can with the cruise to Nutsville. You'll attend life-changing seminars with our special guests. Listen to Katy Perry on how to make up for intellectual insecurity by mouthing stuff you read on a HuffPost blog. Keith Olbermann on how to time medications so you melt down on air. Shia LaBeouf on how to not let a low IQ keep you from being important to a small few who still know you. Madonna on coping with senility. Plus, Michael Moore, Lena Dunham, Rosie O'Donnell, and Ashley Judd. And how to yell at cops with surprise guest, Psycho Professor Lady. I'm a professor! Together, you'll intimately discuss how the president has made you so obsessed with trivial things, you forget the issues that really matter and hilariously embarrass yourself in front of your peers. With great ports of call like Crazy Town, Looney'sburg, Bonkersboro, and Hollywood, the cruise to Nutsville promises to be the most self-absorbed event you've ever been to and not informative in any way. So if you're ready to rub shoulders with people just as out of touch with reality while you spin off the planet, call 555-NUTS for your tickets to the cruise to Nutsville today. Mm, and it is all inclusive. All right. Coming up, a story so upsetting, you'll need to chase it down with some Pepto. Snoop Dogg and Lil Bow Wow. I'll take clowns on the way down for a thousand, Alex. Yeah.